So today on Shore Garage, we're gonna motorize a pedal boat. <laughs> this should be fun. All right, so on the back of this thing, it's got like a rudder, right? Obviously, so you can steer it. But it has a whole steering linkage so that when you move the rudder, it moves like a little arm. So what I'm thinking here is I'm either gonna sink the motor through there, or I might build a transom on the back, mount it, and then somehow utilize that. So, well, we'll figure it out here. I gotta plug those holes so that thing doesn't sink, and then, um, you know, we'll go from there. All right, so I built a transom on the back of the pedal boat, and I have the, it's a 55 pound thrust trolling motor, and it's uh, it's pretty solid, like it's pretty sturdy for what it is. Like the transom barely even moves. I sunk down four screws in each on the sides, two screws up at the neck of each piece of wood. I got four bolts, two on each side of the transom to hold it in place. Now I'm going to try to work on modifying this rudder to like, take the rudder off and use the mechanism to be able to steer this whole unit. That would be super cool, so we'll figure something out. All right, enjoy. All right, so I disassembled the top of the motor. Uh, this is where the control unit was. These are the four wires. You have a uh, power and a ground. And then I'm assuming some sort of control no, wiring. I, I don't understand what these are, but I, I took good pictures of where they go. So <laughs> that's the important part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the, I have my, my new mounting point now for where the, uh, for where the ruddle, rudder handle is gonna attach to this motor so I can steer the motor from up there. And I have the control unit for the motor right here that I'm gonna also mount to that. So I'll actually just be able to steer the motor from here and control forward and reverse in all speeds. The only thing I have to do for this in order to make that work is extend those four wires on the back of this thing, of the back of this motor. Uh, then we're good to go. Uh, I'm pumped, I'm gonna try this thing today. So, okay, stay with some more progress. I now completed the linkage for the steering. So, when you turn the motor, it turns the control unit up there and vice versa. So if you were to turn the control unit now, it actually moves the motor. So you have All right, and just like that, this pedal boat is officially motorized. Let's take a look. So the first thing I did was I built a transom out of pressure treated wood. I bolted it through each section of the boat. This will hold the actual trolling motor. I then modify the trolling motor with the original lever for the rudder so that when you steer the lever, it steers the motor, like so. Now, I did this specifically because if I get seaweed or any kind of tall grass jammed up in that propeller, all I have to do 
Just pop that pin and that washer, drop the linkage down, then pull this lever here and can tilt this up and out of the water no problem. It's got a perfect spot for my battery. It's a 12 volt deep cycle battery. I tidied up all the wiring. I covered this. I had to extend the wiring because the original handle, which is there, used to be about right here. So I had to add about five feet of wire. Yeah, so that's how you uh, turn one of these pedal boats into a little motor boat. Runs on a little power, good for a little creek or a little, uh, a little pond, a little, you know, any little spot of water. It doesn't really have much current. You just want to putt around on. This is perfect for it. What I do anyway on my canoe with that trolling motor, this is just far more stable and I can, you know, fit more people on it comfortably, so. But yeah, thanks for checking out the video and uh, we'll see you next time on some crazy shit that I'm gonna build. <laughs>